my name is Nishat Noor and welcome to Millennium Headlines. This week's top headlines are... Amanda Knox, grateful to have my life back after a court saga. Zayn Malik leaves world's biggest boy band, One Direction. Decorated Boston cop in coma after being shot in the face. Seven shot and injured at Florida Spring Break house party. Official Al Shabaab siege at Somalia Hotel ends, 24 dead. People killed in Hindu gathering. ALPS crash pilot told X everyone will know my name. Amanda Knox says she's so grateful to have my life back after Tali's highest court overturned her murder conviction in the slaying of her roommate. Knox spoke briefly Friday evening to reporters gathered outside the Seattle home of her mother, Etta Millers. She was flanked by her mother and her fiancé, Colin Sutherland. Right after I'm absorbing what all this means and what has Right now, I'm still absorbing what all this means and what comes to my mind is my gratitude for the life that's given to me, she said. The 27-year-old Knox says she is thankful for the justice I've received and for the support I've had from everyone, from my family, from my friends, to strangers. I'm so grateful to have my life back. Asked what the future held, she said, I don't know. I'm still observing the present moment which is full of joy. In a statement earlier in the day, Knox said that knowing she was innocent gave her strength at the darkest times of this ordeal. <laughs> Former One Direction member Zayn Malik spoke for the first time since leaving the group this week, and he's sorry for the pain he's caused. I feel like I've let the fans down, but I can't do this anymore, he told the UK's outlet The Sun. It's not that I've turned my back on them or anything. It's just I just can't do that anymore because it's not the real me. He said that he had been uncomfortable in recent months and that his departure was best for everyone concerned. I did try to do something that I wasn't happy doing for a while and for the sake of other people's happiness, the 22-year-old said. But now, he added, I've never felt more in control of my life and I feel like I'm doing what's right, right by myself and right by the boys, so I feel good. He's getting along fire with the other members of the band, he observed. According to the US magazine, Malik has started working on a solo project, One Direction, which also included Harry Styles, Louis Tomlinson, Niall Horan, and Liam Payne, will continue as a foursome. The band's announcement Wednesday that Malik was leaving caused mass disbelief among fans all over the world, with many taking the internet to express their sadness and devastation. A decorated Boston police officer remains in a medically induced coma Saturday, a night after he was shot in the face during a traffic stop that ended when other officers fatally shot his attacker, the city's police commissioner said. Officer John Moynihan, 34, was struck just below his right eye and the bullet remains lodged below his right ear. He was listed in critical condition, Commissioner William Evans said. Evans said Moynihan is undergoing tests there is being monitored for bleeding in his brain. We are hoping and praying there's not further damage, Evans said. Moynihan and five other gang task force members traveling in two cars stopped a car Friday night after reports of shots fired, Evans said. The commissioner said the officers had blue lights flashing but none had pulled out their weapons. He said video from the scene shows Moynihan approaching the driver's door and the suspect Angela West, 41, of Boston's Hyde Park neighborhood, suddenly pulled a gun and shot him in point-blank range. Evans said West continued firing at the other officers as he tried to run away, emptying his .357 Magnum handgun and was killed at the scene when police returned fire. 
West had a violent criminal past with several prior gun convictions, according to Evans. Seven people were injured, some critically, during an early morning spree of gunfire Saturday at a spring break party on the Florida Panhandle, police said. An Alabama man was quickly apprehended and charged with attempted murder. Multiple 911 calls flooded in just before 1 a.m., reporting the shootings at a house party in Panama City Beach, and deputies found a sprawling crime scene with victim inside the home, outside across the street from it, and the street's median, the Bay County Sheriff's Office said. Officers set up a perimeter and bound a suspect marching witnesses description. David Jamel Daniels, 22, of Mobile, Alabama, was charged with seven courts of attempted murder and jailed awaiting a first court appearance. A 40 caliber handgun believed to have been used was found in a yard of a nearby home. Blood splattered utensils, bullet poked walls, and overturned chairs marked the reception area of a prominent hotel in the Somalian capital following an attack by Islamic extremists that killed at least 24, including six attackers. Somali special forces stood over three bloodied bodies of the alleged attackers after officials declared they have full control of Maka al Mukarama Motel Saturday, more than 12 hours after gunmen, believed to be six in number, from the Islamic rebel group of Al Shabaab stormed into the hotel. The gunfire has stopped and security agents have gone through the whole building, says senior police officer Captain Mohammed Hussein. He had earlier said the gunmen were believed to have occupied the third and fourth floors of the hotel in the capital, Mogadishu. The operation has ended. We have taken full control of the hotel, Hussein said. 18 people were killed in the attack, including one soldier, Said Hussein. At least 28 people were wounded, according to Hussein Ali, an official of Mogadishu's ambulance service. Officials claimed to have killed six attackers, but only displayed the bodies of three and did not give the location of the bodies of the other attackers. At least 10 people were killed and dozens were injured Friday in a stampede during a Hindu religious gathering in Bangladesh, police said. Local police chief Nazrul Islam said the accident took place in Langabad, a Hindu pilgrimage spot in the banks of Brahmaputra River, 20 kilometers, 12 miles southeast of capital Dhaka. The co-pilot who investigators believe crashed a passenger jet in the French ALPS killed also 150 aboard, worried health problems with Dash's dreams and vowed one day to do something to change the whole system, an ex-girlfriend told a German newspaper. The 26-year-old woman, identified only as Maria W., recalled in an interview with the mass circulation Bill's Daily how Andreas Lubitz told her, one day I'm going to do something that will change the whole system and everyone will know my name and remember. Now the details to this week's top headlines. Amanda Knox, grateful to have my life back after court saga. Zayn Malik leaves world's biggest boy band, One Direction. Decorated Boston cop in coma after being shot in the face. Seven shot and injured at Florida Spring Break house party. Official Al Shabaab siege at Somalia Hotel ends, 24 dead. People killed in Hindu gathering. ALPS crash pilot told X everyone will know my name. Thank you for watching Millennium Headlines. See you next week.